Hey guys, and welcome to the diseased deserts of dawn. My name's NG Paradox, and before we jump in, I would just like to tell you guys that I apologize for the lack of content over the last few days, and of course the big gap between this part and the last part of the Dark Star series. I've been ill the last kind of week, and so this has meant it's been impossible for me to record until now. I'm probably about 90% better now, so I feel I'm definitely in a position I can record now. I just did the HRE stream, so I feel I can do this now. So if I do sound a little bit off or I say something that's really weird, weirder than normal, it's probably just because I'm sick. So uh, yeah, just giving you guys a heads up for that. But we're back to Dark Star, and I'm hoping this disease will uh, dissipate in the near future. I've had enough of disease in the game and in real life, to be perfectly honest, and... What the? Okay. <laughs> That's like one day, and we had a baby. Okay. Uh, Castos. Castos, and of course, yeah, of course you're attractive. I mean, we haven't had that for every child. Okay, Castos Dane. Well, welcome, Castos Dane, to our happy family. Oh, I can see then Hellholt is actually starting to retreat. We're going to keep an eye on this then. I want to wait for it to retreat so we can open the gates and get back to scheming. Dark Star's in his tower, rubbing his hands together and just going, <laughs> Yes, I am of the night. But what is this? Lately, the Maester Galan has been showing symptoms of illness. He might have contracted the plague, but of course, nothing is certain. He has to go. Yeah, he has to go. Bye. And he's gone. Yeah, he's just been put outside. <laughs> That's all. Actually, I think I forgot to marry Quentin. Yeah, I always marry people on my council, don't I? So let's get you married. Uh, I'm going to go with this girl because she's a little bit younger. She's a dwarf. So let's get married to this one. Done. And I, If I remember correctly, you're Septon and you are the dwarf. Yes. We need to get you married now then. Should have put you two together, actually. And there's no men available to her, and we can't open the gate. I don't think I can get a new courtier, then. No, we cannot. Okay, so we've got to wait until we can open the gates. Then we'll find you a love match. So until then, let's increase the speed. We can allow the disease, hopefully, to move away. And also, we're letting, you know, the two Martell brothers get older, which would be nice. Unless they outlive me. Hmm. Interesting. I do feel at the moment they're going to bloody outlive me at this rate, but look at this. Well, well, well. Lisa Tully. She has died while clutching at her heart. Well, there we go. It's weird to think of all those great people who died in those wars. And Lisa Tully survived until now. It's, it's really sad, really. I, actually, I always forget she's always younger than I, f I think she is. I always think she's much older because she's just so mad. I just, I don't know, I always picture her as being older for some reason. But yeah. Um, the Delicate Scorpion. Um, I don't think we're going to go. We've got disease at the moment. We, we can't make it to a tournament. I apologize. It's not a big, important tournament. I'm not going to risk leaving my halls. Not while I sit in the dark, because I'm of the night. I'm sorry, I, c I can't help saying it. And Cersei Lannister has defeated Ashmark in their rebellion to put her down. You don't want to mess with her. She's, you know, over the edge, you know, when it comes to the people. I wouldn't mess with her. I mean, if I could lose, I wouldn't. She's got him in, she's got him, his wife, his heir, and his granddaughter. And I think I just... No, that wasn't him. Criston Lindley was thrown out of the moon door. Yay! Someone was thrown out the moon door. Criston Lindley. Very good stewardship. Why was he thrown out? He was the youngest son of the Lindleys. Okay. What happened there, Robert? Robert obviously just wanted to see the man fly. Um, infertile wife. Yep, yep. Okay. Good job there, Roberts. Good job there. He always does such a good job. Ah. Lord Olimer of Tendring was hanged by Cersei. Nothing to the ash marks. Reason I've noticed a pitiful state of my daughter. 
Elia, I've just been informed that the cause of her aches and fatigue is a case of flu. No. I mean, sickness and dates death awaits us all. I mean, tch. You know, just come back and tell me when she's better. Who cares? There's still disease here. It's left everywhere else. Oh, and Lord Ulla has just died. And his only son, Trebo Ulla, has inherited. To all subjects of King Stannis, the inheritance of Castle of Devon's Point has been thrown into question after the untimely death of Master Ronald of Devon's Point. He left no clear heir, and so I hereby name Deanna Lenteries as his rightful heir. Okay, the little seashell there. She was the wife. Okay. Yeah, I guess that... I don't think anyone's going to complain about that. I don't think there's any other... I guess we could have a look at the claimants. There are no claimants. Well, yeah. Life in seclusion isn't bad. Uh-oh. It's only one... It's the only place. After finishing a hearty breakfast, you belch contentedly. I, I, I was about to just do a belch and I thought you know what I don't think people want to hear a belch <laughs> even if it is fake no one wants to hear that uh, contentedly a remark upon your foresightedness in ensuring Starfall's larders were well stocked um, however as soon as the words leave your lips you notice a sudden panicked look on your servant's face my lord you, you just ate the very last pickled boar's head and almost all our other food stocks are near in exhaustion. Furthermore, your servant continues the drone on, but you are too aghast to listen. No more pickled boar's head? This isn't good. So we're running out of... Oh, there we go. Thank you. Okay, we can open the gates. Phew. That was close. We're about to starve there. But now we can get back to doing what we were doing. Uh, I was going to marry you. That's what I was doing, wasn't it? Let's get her a courtier. Okay, what type of courtier do I want? I guess someone who's good at diplomacy would be useful. Um, let's have a quick check. Yeah, definitely. We need someone who's good at diplomacy. Ooh, 21 Marshal. Skilled fighter. I think he's a skilled fighter as well. Yeah, he is. Look at that diploma. Okay, okay. I, I know what I'm doing here. There we go. It look about so much better. Treasurer, let's check this then as well. No, you... Yeah, you are the best one for that. Okay, someone good with money. And we got... William. Eleven. Okay, that's you know better than nothing. I mean, if he got a one, I'd have to take him on. Like I said, I like to deal with what we get. Don't like to play the system. Look at that. That's actually... We've gone from a terrible... One of the worst councils I've ever had... To actually having... A suitable council. One that could actually be useful. Let's get him to do stuff then. Um, let's improve relations. 4,000 men. I think we can get more. Um, Blackmont. Improve relations with Blackmont. I think you should train children because I think my children are just coming to age. You can collect taxes. And you can scheme in Starfall. I'm not ready to kind of, you know, do intrigue in Sunspear just yet. We're waiting for those two, one of the two brothers at least to die. You don't want to mess with them. They can fuck your shit up. We'll put it that way. Um, Dickon Tale. He just usurped the title of uh, Brightwater. That's impressive there, Dickon. I mean, your father, your honorable, gregarious, proud, brave, very good marshal. Your father probably would be quite proud. Um, Samwell's still alive on the wall. That wall must be an interesting place to live. You got Samwell, Jon Snow, you got Jamie Lannister. It could be quite interesting. You've searched Starfall from top to bottom, and I've come to realize there really are no more pickled boar's heads. Not only that, but all the other food stocks are near and ex We opened the gates. I did open the gates, yeah? Let's have a quick look. Yeah, we have opened the gates. I guess maybe this is just a continuation from it. Um, health. I get a low health because of that. That's ridiculous. Does the hunger appear here? Do I have minus health? Minor food. Are you kidding? The thing, are you? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just getting upset. If I die now because of that minus one health, I'm going to be pretty upset. And what is this? 
What the? What is this? Why is it continuing? Well, that's a bleeding bug. Rats have managed to find your meager food supplies. It, that we have food. I need to fix this. How do I fix this? Hold a tawny? Is that how I can do it? Um, no. Yeah, I don't see anything that can help us here. Yep, we'll just have to just go through then. Oh, Ashmark was let go. Well, looks like Cersei was actually quite nice to him. I'm quite surprised. You've gained back some of the weight you lost, and finally, no longer feel hungry all the time. The ordeal is finally behind. Okay, there we go. That's good. There we go. Phew. I was a little bit worried there. Master of Arms of Dawn. Of course. Of course I am. We're in a nice position. We just need one of them to pass on to the other side. You're 65. Come on, Duran. Oh, just a si What the? What happened to my just... I didn't even notice that. He did die. Oh, no. He died of a pox and his son is death. <laughs> okay. I've not seen that one before. I said, I have no just, I have no bloody justice sir again. I, I guess one of you two is the best. I, I yeah, I, well, I might as well put him because at least he's a vassal. Keep him happy, I guess. Bleeming heck! Ooh, Lord Paramount Willis, the fawn has declared Lord Paramount Willis war to liberate captives from Cersei the Lion. Is it his? Ah. Oh. Look at that. Willis has decided to go save his wife. He may be stressed, a drunk, and of course crippled, but he is damn well going to save his wife from the clutches of her own insane mother. Her drunk, abusive, insane mother. She has to be abusive. There's no way. But yeah, that's an interesting... That's a pretty cool storyline we've got here. 16,000 men. Versus 10... Well, I'm going to put this on uh, Willis's side, I would say. Oh, no. Gregor of Fang Towers, John. I mean, yeah, you are her vassal. But he's going to bring his own men, technically, on. So 3,000 extra men. That's pretty good, then. This could be pretty even. 48 years old now. He's still alive. A traveling poet who calls himself a bard arrives today. A good-for-nothing nobody. If he does anything wrong, I'll break every bone in his body. I think he'd go for that. I don't think he cares much for other show-offs. Sir Ronald, who had introduced the bard to the court, was not pleased with me promising to break the bard's bones. I tried to explain that I would only break the bones if the bard tried to do something unpleasant, but Sir Ronald did not accept that explanation. Well, I have upset my brother a little bit. Oh well, nothing you can do about that. Sometimes brothers get upset. We've all been there. No factions, yeah. We just have to wait for Duran. It's really up to him. He's 65. How old's the heir? 13. So we've got about two years. Yeah, we've got two years for Duran to die for that plan to work. I mean, obviously we could kill him or something. So it's not completely impossible, but it does make it harder. So I'm hoping in the next two years, Duran will die. That'd make it perfect. Was drowned by Lady Cersei. Ooh, she drowned a zero-year-old attractive child. That is so sad. And my wife is pregnant? I did not expect that. 39 years old. You know, me and her, we just can't keep our hands off each other. We're just pumping them out. You know, in the end, I think it was worth waiting for her. It was worth it. We made the right choice by going with Nymeria Sands. I mean, our three children. Our three children are all attractive. I mean... You can't get, I mean, you can get better than that, but still. He would like this man to train my daughter. No. Not good enough. But let's get them educated. Focus. I don't think he'd be the greatest parent. I think it'd be something like thrift, pride, or struggle he would go for. But seeing as we're a Dane, I feel like it, we should try to get one of our children to become the Sword of the Morning. It feels like it's something we have to do. And because she's my heir, I'd like her to try as well. So I think we should try and get Sword of the Morning. So maybe struggle. I know obviously Darkstar would probably not go for Sword of the Morning for his kids. But he wants them to be good fighters. So I, I think he'd still go for it. But they might then just become Sword of the Morning. 
just because they want to, not because he wants to. So we'll go for that. Uh, I should probably educate you as well. We want him to be a good fighter then, so obviously we've got some skilled fighters. Let's have a quick look at his traits. There's a he's got some good stats, but not good traits. Um, Quentin. He's got okay traits. Arbitrary, cruel, chase. No, it's only bravery really that's good. Okay, how about this then? Now, maybe he's actually got some good traits here. You know, brave, uh, deceitful, ambitious, proud. Proud is... Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you get prestige. It's not bad. And she's got oh, quite good stats overall. I think she should train him because she can get them to train fighter. And then if they get to train fighter, we can then give them to someone who's better. So there we go. We'll let her train my two children. We'll give them both the same education. Just in case she dies. There we go, Nymeria. So she can do that. We've also got the council member doing that as well. So hopefully they can get somewhere. Oh my... <laughs> and uh, all he does is gripe and moan about a few scrapes and cuts. He'd rather read a scroll than fight. He's got Craven. Are you kidding me, Timian? You better not damn well become a Craven. I hereby invite to the wedding of Dare and Dane and Denise Corgill. Well, yeah, I guess we'll travel to the wedding. I can't believe my son is a Craven. I can't believe it. It's. Why? Why my son? We'll have to change. Hopefully we something changes. My wife, you know, she is brave. M maybe there'll be an opportunity to change it. I don't know. Ronald greets us warmly to the f the wedding. We're not going to read these too much. I think Darkstar will be very dismissive of this. He's kind of like, yeah, yeah. Go on with the wedding. Oh, uh, yeah, they put they do that. They put the stuff on each other. The bedding. Oh, wait. I was seated next beside a person I'd never really talked with before. We end up together in the garden, a couple of bottles of Prince Duran's well-stocked Dornish wine cellar. Lady Gilia Corgill, the wife of Manswoody. Huh, I made a new friend. There we go. Okay, that, that's something that came out of that, I guess. Uh, yep, the, the, the bedding remains, yeah, yeah, whatever. That's just dark, that's just dark stuff, he doesn't care. What the, a queasy feeling overcomes you. And you feel an immediate urge to throw up. Alas. What? Uh, will there be another wedding? He's fairly sure I have the flu. I'm vomiting. I'm not sure. That could be something much worse. Um, he insists that you follow his instructions. To draw the inos out of your body, the maester covered your head to toe in leeches. I'm glad I hired him. Okay, there we go. Okay, looks like he did a good job. Uh, at least we're raising lots of money. Oh no. A sudden gurgling and feeling of pressure on your gut is all the warning you have before you're forced to make a dash for the privy. Diarrhea. Um, this is not good. This is definitely not a flu. And now I've got a cough. This is definitely not a flu. Um, it's hard work and everyone seems to like him. Aside from between having my marshal heighten the amount of the troops or recruit more soldiers. I'll recruit more soldiers, I think. We'll go with that one. Okay. Maester Gunn has completely botched the treatment of my brother's disease. Ron is now even worse off than before, barely clinging on to life. Ooh, food poisoning. Yeah, I should definitely punish him. Easy now, he's trying his best. Um, into the dungeon, yeah. He can't do that sort of thing. Look at me, I'm in very bad need of health. Send for a new maester. I need help right now. You better give me... She just... Mauled to death by a lion. Cersei, are you killing all his kids? You killed two of his kids. You're sick. And you made them watch. I mean, they're still alive. She's basically making them watch. And we had another son. Franklin Dane. And this one is huge. Well, there we go. That's another nice one. Uh, a new maester. Maester Weil. He's he's not too... 16 learning. Um, let's pop this up. I seek treatment, yeah. I'm spending a pleasant moment alone with the attractive cook. Then the wretched child, Bader, comes upon us and promptly starts charging me about morals. I'll catch the brat and give him a good hiding. It doesn't matter. Um, 
Yeah, I'll give him a good hiding. There we go. Bedir the foul hulk went around and told everyone lies about me as childish revenge for the deserved beating I gave him. Okay. Yeah, take that, you little brat. No one messes with Dark Star. I'm of the night. Well states his extensive medical experience leads him to the certain conclusion that you have the flu. That's what the la I have bloody diarrhea. I'm not sure that's a flu. Does flu give you diarrhea? To ease your pain, the maester had you write down the names of your worst enemies, and when nobody was looking, toss the parchment into a fire. Better them than you, my lord. Apparently I feel better. Huh. But I mean, I st uh, hopefully they go. Please. Gerald, you have so much to... Are you kidding me? I've contracted the flu. Okay. <laughs> they were correct. I did have the flu. Uh, maester Ed... I want my maester, to be perfectly honest. Um, offers treatment for your illness. As long as you know what you're doing there, sir. When Maester Eddard entered your chambers, he was followed by an air most foul. The stench seemed to originate from the jar in his hands, a mixture of cow's dung and herbs for your poultice. Okay, I actually feel better. Yeah, but nothing's actually got rid of the disease. I'm feeling better, but nothing's got rid of it. My health's normal, though. And Stannis Baratheon has taken his last breath, but he died under suspicious circumstances. Maybe the wars are not over then. It did seem peaceful for a time in Astanis, and suddenly he died. I heard like, it sounded like he fell, or by that, 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 yeah, that scream. Who killed him? But Shireen has taken her position as queen. 25 years old, the headstrong stag. Stubborn. <laughs> Um, oh, apologies, uh, but uh, I know Stannis, is, we, we all love Stannis. Stannis is great, but he's dead now. You gotta, you gotta just make your peace of it. So I don't know if you could hear it, my dog was just barking. You gotta make your peace of it. Shireen will be fine. No one's gonna kill her as well. Someone's probably gonna kill her. Um, but yeah, so she's kind, shy, not great stats. Obviously got grayscale as well, or disfigured by grayscale. Married to Roland... Lingrave, a uh, Stormlander, and her son obviously will inherit, but he has the Stormlands right now. 11 years old, he's coming along at the moment. Curse her name. Yeah, she's no queen of mine. Ooh, we've been invited to the coronation. I shall attend. <laughs> we want everyone to think we like them. Of course, a lady bright. You know what? How about we come to the tournament? Actually, wait, I'm ill, aren't I? I probably should not be going to the tournament. I have a flu. I, I was I want to go to the tournament because we've been waiting for these two for so long. They're 67 now. He's he's never going to die, is he? After arriving there, I decided to ready my horse. So we made it through to the first rounds, and we're against Sir Alaric. He's a craven, but steady, and we hit. But he stayed on his horse, Sir Alaric. I got him again. I, okay. okay. The Queen on the Iron Throne. In the name of the Lord... Okay. okay. And <laughs> I can't do a girl's voice right now. In the name of the Lord of Light, I, Shireen of the House Baratheon, the first of my name, promise, pledge, and guarantee in the sight of the Heart of Fire as I will be the protector and defender of the realm. We'll leave it there. Okay. That, that, that was okay, I think. And we knocked him off. There we go. Next one. Sir Belgrave of Carpenter Town, skilled fighter and brave. Steady. Uh, none can beat me, yes. But he got me. No! And I stayed on my horse. There we go. I'm of the night. No one will take me down. You can't hit what you can't see. But obviously we're in daylight, so y you can see me. And he got me again. And we were knocked off, yeah. I didn't expect to get very far. We were eliminated. It's fine. We, we got one person. He fought well. Ah, oh, he knocked out Oberyn Martell. Well, you know what? I don't feel too bad right now. And he won in the end. And he beat in the finals Sir Samwell. Strong, trained fighter, and brave. 20 Marshall. But of course. Is that flu gonna go? I mean, he just attempted to try to imprison that woman. I think I have to leave this part here then. We're going to have to leave this part here then. My, the maester. 
He's in my dungeon. Uh, let him rot. We'll just leave him there forever. But uh, we're going to end this part here. I know not much has happened. I've been keeping it on four speed because I've been wanting one of these two to die. So we can put together our schemes and plans. But Gerald is still in a good position. Um, he has some very good children here. We've got a nice selection right there. Let's see how they're coming up. Oh, she's already got poor fighter. Very nice. My other son, though, does not. He's craven. It might have to be up to you, Elia. Maybe you could be the Sword of the Morning. Or imagine Franklin. Huge and the Sword of the Morning. That would be impressive. But yeah. So we've got some nice kids there. We can see what happens with them. We've got some schemes here. Um, we've got the maester in the dungeon. Things are looking nice. And of course, the Iron Throne is far from being secure right now. There's still a lot of instability and only four Baratheons left. Anything could happen here. And there are dragons, remember, still off. Still off in the world. But yeah, see you guys in the next part.